Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? 3 raised to the power 5x minus 1 plus 3 raised to the power 4 minus 5x equals to 28. Here, we are finding the value of x. So, now, from here, we can rewrite this as 3 raised to the power 5x divided by 3 raised to the power 1. Applying the law of indices from there, then we have plus 3 raised to the power 4, then divided by 3 raised to the power 5x. Also applying the law of indices. That is, when you have number of same base divide, then we can subtract their index. Then equals to 28. Then in the next step, we have 3 raised to the power 5x, 3 raised to the power 5x common. So we can use a letter. So let y be equals to 3 raised to the power 5x. Then in the next step, what we have here can be replaced as y. So we have y over 3. 3 raised to the power 1 is still 3. Then plus 3 raised to the power 4 here can be written as 81. That's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Then over 3 raised to the power 5x, that's y. Then this is equals to 28. Then from here, Let's bring this together on this side. STM here is 3y. Then 3y goes here, that's y. One ten, y times y here, that's y squared. Then plus y goes in 3y here, that's 3. You mean 3. So 3 times 81, we have 243 from here, which is equals to 28 on this side. Then from here, we can cross multiply here. When we cross multiply from here, we have y squared plus 243 multiplied by 1. We still have y squared plus 243, then equals to 28. We multiply 3y. So we have 28 times 3y. Then in the next step, we have y squared plus 243, then is equal to 3y times 28, that gives us 84y. Then we can bring 84y to this side, so as to form an equation, then this will give us y squared minus 84y. Then plus 243, and this is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation that we can factorize, and this will become y squared minus 3y minus 81y plus 243 equals 0. So we factor minus 84y at minus 3y minus 81y. A minus 3 times minus 81 will give us 2 plus 243. Then we can group this one to 2. And from here, what is common between these two things? We have y. Then we have y minus 3 out. Then what is common between these two things? We have minus 81. Then we have y left. Then also minus 3, which is equal to 0. And in the next step, we have y minus 3, y minus 3. We take it out. Then what is left here is y. Then we have minus 81 here, which is equal to 0. Then we have two cases here. We have y minus 3 equals to 0. y minus 3 equals to 0. Or we have y minus 81 is equal to 0. So from here, y is equal to 3 on this side. Then from this side as well, we have y equals to 81. And we represented y as 3 raised to the power 5x. So we can say this is 3 raised to the power 5x equals to 3. 
And on this side as well, we have y to be 3 raised to the power 5x, which is equal to 81. And from here, this same thing as 3 raised to the power 1. So we can say this is 3 raised to the power 1. And therefore, the base are equal. We can equate the power. Then we have 5x is equal to 1 from here. Then we divide both sides by 5. That means x is equal to 1 over 5. Then on the other side, also, this 81 can be expressed as 3 raised to the power 4. So we have 3 raised to the power 5x equals to 3 raised to the power 4. And the base also cancel out. We have 5x now equal to 4. So divide both sides by 5. We have x here equal to 4 over 5. Then we can check from what we have. In the problem we have, 3 raised to the power 5x minus 1 plus 3 raised to the power 4 minus 5x equals to 28. So let's check for the first value of x. So we have 3 raised to the power 5 multiplied by 1 over 5, then minus 1, then plus 3 raised to the power 4 minus 5 times 1 over 5. That's the value of x. Is this equal to 28? Then by the time we see from here, we have 5 cancel 5 here. So that's 3 raised to the power 1 minus 1 here. Then plus also here 5 cancel 5. That's 3 raised to the power 4 minus 1. Is this equal to 28? Then from there, we have 1 minus 1. That's 0. 3 raised to the power 0 plus 3 raised to the power 3. Is this equal to 28 from here? Then we have 3 raised to the power 0 to be 1. Any number raised to the power 0 is 1. So we have 1 plus 3 raised to the power 3, that's 27. Is this equal to 28? And we have that. 1 plus 27, that's 28. This is equal to 28. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. That means x equals to 1 over 5 here. Satisfy the problem. Also, we can check for the second value of x. So, also from here, we put the value of x, that is 3 raised to the power 5x, and x is 4 over 5, then minus 1, here, then plus 3 raised to the power 4, minus 5, into bracket 4, over 5, is it equal to 78? Then when we check from here, we have 5 cancel 5 here. Then we have 3 raised to the power 4 minus 1 plus 3 raised to the power. Here 5 cancel 5 and we have 4 minus 4. Is this equal to 28? Then when we check from here, this 3 raised to the power 3. 4 minus 1, that's 3. Then plus 4 minus 4, that's 0. 3 raised to the power 0. Is this equal to 28? Then when we check from here, we have 3 raised to the power 3, that's 27, then plus 1. Is it equal to 28? Now, we have 27 plus 1. That's 28. It is equal to 28. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And also we have that x equals to 4 over 5 satisfy the equation. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel. And also turn on the notification bell. If you have any comment, put it in the comment section. See you in the next class and bye for now.